Friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 316, remove duplicate letters. So in this problem, we are given a string S and we need to remove duplicate letters to get a string which consists of only unique letters and that substring, that subsequence of this string should be the smallest in lexicographical order among all the possible results. So here we are given the string S and now, what could be the possible results of this string as the subsequence that we can form from this string, which consists of only unique characters, R, B, C, A, where we are removing the last two characters, uh, B and C, or we can uh, remove the first B, C, and we get A, B, C. So, we can see there are multiple results, and among these results, we are just like we can just see that abc is the smallest one so um, this is what we need to find and how do we find this if you uh, apply brute force approach so in that case we need to start from the first character and we compare it with the rest of the characters until we find the duplicate and we also need to uh, check if there are any characters between these two characters that are smaller than the character that we are currently comparing so we found a duplicate and we also see that there is a character which is smaller than b right so in that case we make a decision to remove the character b next what we do is we start from the next index which is uh, the character c and we compare it with uh, each of the character until we find its duplicate and now we need to make a decision to remove the character c and that will be based on the characters present between these two duplicates and since these characters are again less than c that is any one of these character can be less than c that is when we decide to remove c again and the result we get is a b c right uh, let's take another example where we can have b c a d b and c okay so in this case we do the same we start from b and we found a b here right and there is a character which is less than b between these two duplicates so we decide to remove one of these and we remove the first one right next we start with c and we find it duplicate and we found the duplicate and we check over here is there a character uh, less than c yes there is right so we remove this c so we uh, end up with a d b c which is the smallest one let's take uh, uh let's change this example a little bit so we have b c d b okay and Oh, we can add a b c here so starting from b we found a duplicate of b here but there are no uh, characters which are less than the character b so which character are we going to remove so basically we are going to remove this character from our substring right because these two characters are greater than b so we want it to be in lexicographically smallest since this is smaller than all both of these characters so if we remove this then we would get b c d right let's just ignore this c okay but if we were to remove this then we would get c d and b and you could see that this is greater than this one and we do not want this so we want this and that is what we are doing over here so basically if we follow this brute force approach then the time complexity would be o of n squared because for each of the character we are comparing with the rest of the characters right um so can we solve it in less time complexity um yes we can solve it in a linear time complexity by using a stack and we are going to use a monotonic stack so what is a monotonic stack a monotonic stack is in which the values in the stack are either in increasing order or in decreasing order so for example a stack with values one two three and all the values greater than which are in increasing order is a monotonically increasing stack and a stack with values for example uh, starting with z y x uh, k and any values which are less uh, then that is a monotonically decreasing so we are going to use this stack to uh, perform to solve this problem so how are we going to use this stack and um, how are we going to solve it using this stack so 
for that we need to maintain a stack and we also need to know what is the last index of each of the characters so we need a stack we need also a scene array where we are going to mark um, uh, mark each of the character as seen if we have already pushed it into the stack okay and we are going to create a array which keeps last index uh, not an array but this would be a map okay so here we have b and the last index of b is uh what is it zero one two three and four so last index of b is equals to three right and the last index of c is equals to four right so last index of c equals four last index of a is equals to two so last index of a is equals to 2 all right now what we do is we start from the first uh, character in our string and that is b and since our stack is empty we push it to our stack okay so i'm just going to create our stack over here we push the stack push it to our stack and next we have the character c and we know c is greater than b so we just push it to our stack again next we found a character a and we know a is less than the element at the top of our stack so what we need to do is we need to maintain a lexicographical order so we um, is there a duplicate of c that is is there a, a duplicate of c which comes after this character a yes we have duplicate over here right and the last index of this is four and our current index of a is two right that means there is a c which comes after a so what we do is we pop c out of this again we compare a with b so is there a duplicate of b which comes after index number two yes there is a uh, last index is at three right so what we do is we pop this as well and we popped both of them and now there is no element in the stack so what we do is now push our uh, character a and every time we are pushing we need to uh, mark them as seen right so right now a is equals to a is uh, we already have uh, added it so a is now in scene so we can create a set or we can create an array and mark them as true or false next we uh, push b because b is greater than a next we move to the character c and we found c is greater than b so we push c as well and finally we have found our string so we join the characters in our stack and we return the result that is abc so this is how we are actually going to solve it we need the last index map which uh, creeps the map of the last indices of each of the characters we need a scene um, uh, scene data structure so i'm going to use a set here we can use an array or a map where we can assign the characters to true or false and we also need a stack where we are going to keep our values in monotonically increasing order okay so let us dive into our code um so let uh let us create our data structures first seeing we need a stack uh, calls empty here uh, all right stack is an array right um, new set and then we also need um, last index right and that would be our map so now we need to create our map of last index so starting from let i equal zero i is less than the length of the string and i plus plus and into our last index map um string at index i equals i'm just going to copy paste this so if that is present that we take that value or if not we take the value zero and we add a one uh, no we are not creating a count right so we assign the index i so that would be the last index of that character we have found so far right now we need to iterate over each of the characters and add it to our stack so 
um, initially our stack is empty and we do not have anything in our array so um, we are only going to push to our stack if there it is not in our set right so if scene dot has the string at index i if that is not present in our set only then we are going to push it to our stack so stack dot um, push and we are pushing our index i and then we assign we uh, add to our stack the value the current character okay so this is how we are forming our stack and adding as scene now if we found our duplicate then what are we going to do so if we found our duplicate we also need to make sure that we have already added that um character into our stack okay so now um what we need is let k equals stack dot length so this is our current length of the stack and for that stack should not be empty so the length of the stack should be greater than zero and um, if we found a character current character which is less than the uh, value in the stack the top of the stack that is stack um, the last element is k minus one is uh, greater than our current value uh, current character and um, um we should have a duplicate of this character after this index i right so we need the last index so the last index of the value at the top of our stack so that should be greater than our current index okay so if these conditions are matching okay let's let me just go back over here so what we did is when we had the values okay so um so when we pushed when we started from the first we pushed it to our stack because it was not seen it was false right next we got the character c and we pushed it to, to our stack because c is greater than b so we pushed it to our stack so we need to know if, when the top element in the stack is greater than the current element here the top element was b and it was less than the current element so we pushed c now we found a and the top element of stack c is greater than a right and in our scene um, we have both b and c now since our top element is greater we need to make a choice to uh, remove this or not so if we need to remove this there should be a duplicate of c after a so we need to check that as well right duplicate of c after a so that is what we are checking is there a index last index of the top of the element greater than the current index value yes right so if that is the case then what we do is we need to remove that character from our set so we need to delete it from our set the character at the top and we are going to pop out of our stack the value right and this we are going to do for b as well so we pop this out we uh, do it for b as well right so we compare a and b and we do it uh, with b as well so this should be a while loop and here we need to decrease the size of the stack right so that is what i'm doing over here and um yeah so that is all about this okay so once we have done that and we always push our cur current element if we have not if it is not present in our scene uh um if it is not present in our set right yes we have not seen it already and finally we are going to return um stack join all the elements by using uh null so there will be no spaces no uh, delimiter right so now let us try to run this code and check if this works 
awesome so i have added few more test cases you can have a look at these test cases these are some of the age test cases okay now let's try to submit this yeah so the time complexity of this solution is uh, linear time complexity and the space complexity is also linear as we are using uh, data structures like uh, set and uh, array and map right so that is all about the solution i hope you liked it and if you liked it then please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you so much